Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to the last lesson in uh, estimating percentages, 7.3b. Tonight we're going to look at estimating percentages greater than 100%. Let's take a look at the trivia question for the day first. Name this new Disney show. It kind of took the place of Good Luck Charlie. Basically came in about when it was getting done. All right, officially then it is 7.3b. I can estimate the percentage of a number with percentages greater than 100%. Here's a problem to start with. One year at the University of North Dakota currently cost $14,566. By the time my daughter Tara is college age, the projected cost will be 122% of that. Estimate the cost of Tara's tuition for one year. Well, I'm going to use the same procedure I used last time. Write the problem, 122% of 14,566. 122% is roughly 120%. 14,566 is approximately $15,000. So, coming back up to do my calculations, 100% of 15,000 is 15,000. 10% 10 is 1,500, and there's another 10% is 1,500. So totally here, I've got my 120% all lined up here and added up. And I, if I add these numbers up, I get 18,000. Tuition will be about $18,000. Does this make sense? Well, yeah, it's 100% plus 10% plus 10%. So absolutely. So tonight we're going to be focusing on percents greater than 100%, and we're going to be using these percentages a lot. 100%, obviously, which is always the number itself, 50% and 10%. The greater your percentages get that you're estimating, the less likely you need smaller ones like 1%, half percent, or 5%. And again, it's an estimate, which is a reasonable guess. All right, here's the first problem. Estimate 155% of 21.55. All right, write the problem. 155% of 21.55. So 155% is about 150%. 21.55 is about 22. So 100% of 22 is 22. Half of that, or 50%, is 11. So 150%, if I add these together, is 33. Does it make sense? Totally. 22 plus 11, that's 100% plus 50%. Slam bam, thank you, ma'am. Here's another one, a little bit bigger problem. 421% of 279. All right, write the problem. 421%, 21% of 279. Round off, 420%. 421% is about 400%. 279 is about 300%. About 300, sorry, not percent. So, I come up here, 100% of 300 is 300. So if I take that 300 times 4, the 100% times the 4 to get to 400%, so 300 times 4, I get 1,200, about 1,200. Does that make sense? Well, totally. Here I did it the old school way, too. Here's 100%, 300, 100%, 300, 100%, 300, 100%, 300, and add up to get my 400%, it's still 1,200. So, yes, it makes very good sense. Time for you to try a couple. Estimate 279% of 287. Go ahead. I see 10. All right, let's see how you did. Write the problem, 279% of 287. Then do your round offs. I had 279%, about 300%. I had 287, about 300. So 100% of 300 is 300. 100% is another 300. Another 100% is another 300, giving me a total of 900. Does this make sense? 900, about 900? Well, absolutely. It's 3 times 300. Think of that 300% as 3 times the number. That's what it is. 400% would be 4 times the number. 700% would be like 7 times the number. It just helps when you're rounding off that number and rounding off the percentage to get you close to that guess. All right. Here's another problem for you to try. 112% of 88. All right. Let's see how you did. Write the problem, 112% is about 110%, 88 is about 90, 
So, 100% of 90 would be 90. 10% of it is 9. Is nine. So 110% is about 99. Well, we can even say about 100. Right? Sure. So, is it a fair estimate? Yeah. Well, 90 would be, nine, it would be 100% of it. And then, you know, add 10%. Beautiful. All right. One more thing before we go. Watch the way I do this problem here. This is kind of a quirky one. 179% of 142. Well, 179% is about 180, I rounded it to. And I rounded 142 up to 150. So 100% of 150 is 150. And then I took 50% of it, which was 75. And then here's my 30%, 10, 20, and 30%. These are each 15. So I've got all these numbers to add up to get to 180%. If I add them all up, this is 225. And then this is 45. If I add that together, I get 270. But look at my check. I said, is that correct? And I said, yeah. Well, it's about 142 times 2, right? Because 180% is almost 200%. Look at my estimate down there. 142 times 2 is 284. Look how similar they are. What's my point? My point is sometimes when it's getting close to 200% or 300% because it's like 299% or 280% or 275%. For an estimate, sometimes you can just round up to the 300 or the even 100%. All right? And then just multiply straight away. Remember, an estimate is a reasonable guess, a reasonable amount. All right? Thank you. Here we go. Your two problems for the day estimate 109% of 98. Estimate 123% of 183. Okay, your answer to the trivia question. Name this Disney show, the new Disney show. It is Liv and Maddie. My daughter likes it a lot. I think it's okay. Even though I do like the way they've decked out their lockers. You should have seen my locker in high school. Stereo, you got it. Lights, you got it. Mirrors. And even the uh, nameplate off my 77 Cougar. All right, see ya.